Hi everyone, I am Ruz Bashad. In this video, I am going to show you how to generate DDL statements for the primary key and foreign key constraints as well as indexes in a table. Are you ready? Let's get started. If you are not familiar with SQL data definition language commands, or if you find them not easy to use and want to generate them easily and quickly, you've selected the right tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you a simple and effective way of generating DDL statements for some of the objects such as primary keys, foreign keys and indexes in a table. As you see, I have already run SSMS and I'm going to use it as the main tool for this short tutorial. I have also set up a copy of the Northwind database as our target database. I suppose you have prepared your own environment very similar to mine, so you can follow the steps in this video and practice them by yourself. Alright, let's start with the products table. Open the table in design mode. Now click on the relationship icon on the toolbar. You see a list of relationships of this table with other tables. For example, fk underscore products underscore categories denotes the relationship between the categories table as the primary key table and the products table as the foreign key table. Okay, keep this foreign key constraint in mind as we are going to generate both drop and add DDL statement for it. Close the dialog box and this time click on the Manage Indexes and Keys button on the toolbar. You see a list of indexes defined on different columns of the products table. PK underscore products is the primary key constraint which is the only clustered index of the table. You see it's defined on the product ID column and makes it unique. All other indexes are non-clustered indexes. For example, category ID is a non-clustered index defined on the category ID column. Also bear these two objects in mind as we are going to generate DDL statements for them. Alright, it's time to do our main job. Close the dialog box and expand the products table. Afterwards, expand the keys node. You find both primary key and foreign key constraints here. In order to generate DDL for the PK underscore products constraint, right click on it to open a shortcut menu. Click on script key as option to open a second shortcut menu. Now click on drop and create two to open a third menu. Finally select new query editor window. You will see it generates the appropriate DDL statements for both dropping and creating the constraint. Repeat the steps above for fk underscore products underscore categories. For category ID index, you need to expand the indexes folder to get the object. Also, do the similar steps for this one. You can apply the same approach to the other objects to generate the associated DDLs. Examples are check constraints, table, or even the whole database. In case of database, there are two different ways. 
The first one generates script for the database itself. In the second one, which is more comprehensive, you can decide what objects to be included in the final script. I leave them to you to practice by yourself. Okay, we are almost done. But before saying goodbye, let me remind you of a very important point at this time. Be careful when working with DDL commands. They could be risky if you didn't use them with care. Try them on a test database until you get confident about them. Always get a backup of your operational database before manipulating it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.